morning. We're up. We're on the road. Jesse thought he heard thunder this morning. I never heard any, but... <laughs> so we quickly broke down camp. And I chose to not have coffee. But we're trying to find coffee. That's like number one on our list. <laughs> I do have a little stop up the way here. And if we hit it before the coffee, we'll stop there. But yeah, so uh, that you saw the camp spot in the last video with Glacier Park. And I mean, it's a nice spot. There was a lot of people there. I probably wouldn't seek it out again, you know, unless I just needed a place to stop. What's that? It's a historic spot. It's what? It just said historic spot. Oh. So, I'm going to turn you around so that you can see the pretty that we're seeing. We're running right along the Flathead River. Mm. Oh, look. Look, that train goes around the mountain there. See the tracks? <laughs> that better not be a copyright strike. <laughs> Don't worry, I can't say that good. Yeah, it's very scenic though. I mean, we're basically at the foot of Glacier, you know. But we're headed towards Columbia Falls. We're hoping to see a lot of scenic pretty today, but I don't know. Well, this was one of the stops. I actually thought we missed this. This is the Ten Commandments. And it's a free little stop, I guess. You just come in. They've got the Ten Commandments on little billboards. They've got other little sayings like Ronald Reagan. If we ever forget that we are one nation under God, then we will be a nation gone under. Thou shalt not kill. Jesus, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Jesus heals the broken heart. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt co not commit adultery. This is really cool. This is neat that somebody did this. Oh, one of the crosses are down. Hmm. Very interesting. I like it. I like that somebody would take the time to do something like this. Cool. I like that this was my, the start of my day. I think that makes me feel good. I'm getting coffee at a little stand. I'm getting a caramel latte. Uh, what did you say it was called? Cowgirl Thank Coffee. You. Thank you! Cowgirl Coffee. Cowgirl Coffee. And she was very friendly. Oh, and I'm so happy I got some coffee. Okay, here was my other stop. This one is just out at the edge of Columbia Falls at the 40 and Highway 2 uh, intersection. I love Volkswagens, and of course you know we love camping, so I thought this was so cool. How fun. This is Flathead Lake, and it is gorgeous. over there. Those are islands. That would be fun to boat to. This is really pretty.
Cheers. And I got Huckleberry Jam. And those are from Huckleberries right here in Montana. And I got Flathead Cherry Jam from Cherries right here in Montana. It's very, very cool. Up here and show you this theater real quick because it's old and it's cool. There's a lot of traffic there, so I wasn't gonna like explain a whole bunch about that theater. But it opened in 1937, and the very first film that was shown there was a Tex Ritter film called Arizona Days. And I just thought that was pretty cool, and I love the old theaters. I love the old buildings, you know that. So I had to get a picture of it. Here we go, we got some actual ruins from an old town that is now a ghost town. 
Look at that. That is so cool. How interesting is that? That is really awesome. So it was quite a way, seven, seven miles up the road, but the first three was paved and that rest was gravel. that up and put it on the I'll put it on the screen somewhere in text but isn't that just the neatest thing ever because it is definitely old looks like people have camped up here There's somebody over there it looks like they're living in their trailer don't think they're allowed to do that we came on back down the road from Coloma and stopped here at what we think might be sort of a campsite because there's you know little baby firing i don't know we're not staying here because this looks like prime bear territory to me but we need some lunch so we're gonna grab some sandwiches exactly are you doing? Trying to get this out. But that bungee locks underneath that lip. There. There. Did it? No. Yeah. Grizz guard. Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> this is the old Montana State Prison. This started as a territorial prison in 1871. Then when Montana became a state in 1889, it was then uh, transformed to just a Montana State Prison. I believe men only, possibly, I think. Uh, and this actually stayed in operation until uh, 1978 or nine, no, yeah, 78 or nine. So it was like 90 years that it functioned as the Montana State Prison. There was some famous people that came through here, wasn't there? Yeah, but... Yeah, I can't remember that. I was doing good to remember the dates to tell them. It's really large. So they have a new prison, and it is men's only. From what I understand, from what I read, I believe it is men's only prison. It is actually about five miles west of town. This one is right in town, and I can't remember if I said that it's Deer Lodge. This is old, too. 1918. I like the totem poles. That's pretty. Oh. The old bells are pretty neat. Henry McShane and Company, 1884. That's pretty cool. I just realized that this one says that says prison office on the top. 
So this would have been the office, the original office for the prison across the road, right across the road. Well, just so you know, you can do tours here. You, I think they even have paranormal tours here. And we just ran into a lady on the street who said she cares for an elderly gentleman who was the last one to be removed from the prison when they built the new prison. He was like the last prisoner in there to be transferred. Kind of interesting, you know. She just saw me taking pictures and thought she'd tell me that. Um, it is right on Main Street. I have no idea how much tours are. As for anybody famous that would have been in here, there was a couple of serial killers that I didn't recognize the names, so I'm not really for sure. I'd have to look them up and see who they were. Um, and what? who else? Oh, and then uh, some famous, supposedly notable white supremacists. I don't know. I don't know who that was either. But kind of a neat stop, and if you have time to do the tours, definitely would suggest that you do the tours. They're in Butte. And this is the Copper Mansion. And it was built in, I believe, 1888. It's pretty popular, I guess. Touristy thing here. But I noticed coming up that this whole downtown is pretty amazing. It is so old and everything is built on a hill it seems like so this is actually a bed and breakfast as well so you could stay here that's pretty awesome so if you want to pause and read that you can uh, it says this mansion has nine fireplaces they're adorned with imported color tiles, each capped by a hand-carved mantle and hardwood to match the room's decor. Hardwoods include mahogany, cherry, laurel, sycamore, oak, and both bird's eye and curly maple. Wow. Uh, 30 rooms took four years and $260,000 to complete. And that was in the 1880s. That's nuts. That's beautiful. Who remembers Evil Knievel? There he is. He is buried in Butte, Montana. A mile long leap of the Snake River Canyon from this point on September 8, 1974, employing a unique sky cycle. He said, A man can fall many times in life, but he's never a failure if he tries to get up. like his this is how we found it. it was because of this tree being decorated it made it easy to find